that we're desperately sorry that we've had to take this action to evict Brian. It's the first time we've had to do anything like this in all our years as landlords. Uh, we wish Brian the very best for the future. Um, we hope we live on reasonable terms with Brian. Um, but it's an action that we've had no option um, other than to go down this route um, after many months of trying to amicably resolve a very difficult situation with Brian. There were serious tenancy issues that we had to address. Um, there was an overriding problem in terms of Brian's hoarding of combustibles in the flat, which has led to a very real fire risk. And in terms of protecting the building and other occupiers of the building, we've had to take this action to make the building safe. I've collected the good stuff like coins and stamps which I can sell, so I'm not attached to them, but I want to come back for photos, uh, the important stuff, my degree certificate, my CV, that kind of thing, because I want to get back out working. I've been in rut and I think inadvertently my landlord has done me a favour because I was just coasting by and it, it, it unfulfilled. I've got fight in me, god damn it, but my god it's taken the toll. And I've done my best, but I couldn't, do, I couldn't do any more clearing out after I got that eviction notice. And for the last year and three months, or four months, I'm not sure. I've never gone more than two weeks knowing whether I'm going to get a phone call that's not going to be good, a letter, a knock on the door. And it's taken its toll. Am I going to give up? No. But I'm sad today. I'm sad.